My first guest is an actor, a writer, a director, a producer, a screenwriter, fashion designer, and a plus-size model. He's a man of many monikers, Juther Vandross, Fatrick Jewing, Whitney Justin, Jew Diamond Phillips. Wikipedia thinks his name is Fabrizio Goldstein, but that's also inaccurate. You all know him, if you know him at all, by the Fat Jew! Fat Jew! Jew. I just got kissed on the lips by the fat Jew. Thank you so much for that. Hey. Where, uh, where, where were those lips even five minutes ago? No, you don't want to, yeah. Just five minutes no, ago. like just on quiche, bum dick, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you don't want any part of this. So many Jews on this couch. Oh, <laughs> the, a lot of Jews on the... a minion. <laughs> yeah, we're almost there. These are nice boots. You look good. You look hey. really good. Yeah. Takes one to know one. Yeah, very Santa Fe, funky. See, this is what... My dad would not have engaged you this way no. if it was just him. <laughs> He's getting a lap dance before the show is over. That's a guarantee. We were talking backstage. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. We cleared things up, yeah. So, Fat Jew, that's how you prefer to be called? That's what I like, yeah. That's what you like. This yeah. is your Twitter handle? Yeah, totally. Hundred... I, mean, I don't know who I even am anymore. Yeah, you know, you've gone through a lot of permutations, a lot of evolution there. We've been emailing back and forth, and uh, I was asking you what you got going on these days, because I, I didn't really want to just put you on the show for the hell of it. I kind of wanted you to have something going on. Right. You know? Totally. Because otherwise, like any weirdo can just come on the show. Right, exactly. You which, have which so by the way, wouldn't be that bad. No, yeah. Well, I've already got, you know. Right. Yeah. Some middle-aged Jewish. <laughs> it's a middle-aged Jewish <laughs> weird, weirdness yeah. going on. I'm weird enough. But you got a lot, I mean, you got a new thing going on basically every, every day, a new thing going on. Right. Uh, so you wrote back uh, when I asked you what, what's going on. He said, I have a new show called, called Bottle Papas coming oh. out. I'm about to shoot a pilot for a show I sold to Amazon starring me, Liv Tyler, and Rachel Dratch. Have a show where I interview rappers, and now a spokesman for Mike's Hard Lemonade. Did some plus-size modeling in Europe. Got hired as the host of a Japanese game show. Right. I mean, nobody's catching on that, like, I'm a talentless fucking idiot. Yeah, like, until they stop offering me money, like, you know, I'm going to keep taking it. Yeah. So where should we start with all that, Joe? Uh, um, How about Bottle Poppers? Okay. So Bottle Poppers is like a, uh, a show that I'm going to be doing about um, the 10th and 12th biggest club promoters in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah. Because like, that's what people want to see. Right. Yeah, so we play basically like horrible, shitty club promoters who think that they're, like, they're, they're, they're reaching for the top of the Scottsdale game. <laughs> yeah. So it's all shot on location. Um, you know, like a lot of chain wallets. Um, you know, Kanye West sunglasses, fedoras, like cocked all the way to the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know how people do yeah. that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of HPV. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a lot of... <laughs> You know what I mean? There's a lot of, lot of open-toed shoes. It's, yeah. it's wild. The guys there. put HPV in girls' drinks, I heard. That's like oh, a... Don't, yeah, don't, you leave your drink alone in Scottsdale, you're done. HPV. Yeah, you're, done. you're waking up in a shrub. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is Bottle Pop, is your character's Troy and Marcus. Right. We're, are, they, these are spin-offs. This is a spin-off show from Girl Hatton, mm -hmm. which was a show you did that was never released. Right. So this is a spin-off of a show that doesn't exist. That's how I do things. <laughs> yeah. I make a show, it never comes out, and then I do a spin-off. And then it comes like a greatest hits, and nobody ever sees it. Yeah. It goes on the DVDs. This is exactly what I'm doing. But That's when amazing. We, when we went out there to shoot the trailer for Bottle Poppers, we actually were so we're out there, we were kind of shooting rogue, um, just like with cameras, and people, you know, kids are being like, Where are you guys like, bro? Like, what are you guys shooting from? And we're like, uh, MTV CNN, like saying whatever. <laughs> and they're like, I love then that work. And then the MTV CNN, right, the new MTV. Get, right, we get, see, the thing about people out there is, like, in New York, if you put a camera on someone, they're like, whoa, whoa, respect my privacy. <laughs> but, like, out there, they're like, ah! Like, put me on the fucking camera! Yeah. Like, I'm like, I love my life! Um, and so we got, in, they thought we were actually real club promoters. So they introduced us to, like, the biggest club promoter in Scottsdale. So this guy comes out, he's like, where do you guys work? First of all, how many are there? Like, he doesn't, he's never seen us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he really, so he was like, what do you guys do? We are like, oh, we do, like, Tuesdays at Ottoman. Like, just making shit up. And he was like, oh, Ottoman is sick. Ottoman is so sick. He knows about Ottoman. And we were like, is this guy? I kind of, and then we were like, he was like, so what up? We were like, yeah, we do Thursdays at, you know, Lava Lamp um, with, with, you know, like, DJ Birkenstocks. And he's like, that dude is crazy. And we were like, are you, is this? We kind of thought he's he was. conning you. Yeah. I kind of thought he was going to be like, dude, I'm Pete. I'm from the UCB. Um, I'm doing the same shit you're doing. Like, I kind of thought maybe we were just doing the same like shit. Competing shows. He was like, we should throw a party. 
I was like, this is not, this can't be happening. So basically, they're the biggest idiots in the world. So like, wow. and, the, and when the show came out, like when the trailer for the show came out, and we were just like completely, they loved it. They, they tried to book us for appearances, and then I was emailing the back being like, I want $200 for an appearance and a case of peach Ciroc that I'm gonna pour on the floor. They were like, bro, done. <laughs> done. Done. Slip whatever and slide want. on that. <laughs> like, whatever you want, yeah. Slip and slide Ciroc. Oh.